Okay, you've probably heard me say it before uh, about reverse racism being a thing. Uh, the fact that we are white and we, if you're if you're white, you can't have an opinion, or you're automatically wrong because of the color of your skin. That sounds an awful lot like racism to me. But uh, just to give you a sample of this video, and this guy's name is Trey. I don't know anything about him. I just started looking into uh, white privilege topics, things like this, and I came across it. Just uh, listen to this real quick. Here we go. What's up, y'all? So I woke up today feeling like clocking some bitches. So as y'all know, it is Black History Month. And throughout the month, I have been and will continue to drag quite a few individuals. If I sound nasally right now, I apologize. I'm low key sick as fuck. I just want to start off by giving a huge shout out to white people who understand white privilege. I can't even begin to express how much I admire white people who don't sit there and act like white privilege isn't a thing, who understand their privilege and how they benefit from their privilege and are vocal about it because that can't be easy. I was high as fuck the other day and I was just sitting there like, wow. As a black man, I obviously understand the black struggle simply because it's my struggle and I couldn't possibly wrap my head around this kind of struggle if I was anything but black. So for those of you who don't necessarily understand it because you don't feel it, but can acknowledge it and are willing to be educated on our oppression and learn from us and listen to us and fight with us, thank you so much because I know that it takes a lot to grasp. Even as a 23 year old black man, there's still so much that I have learned and still have to learn about my struggle. Now, I'm not giving y'all a motherfucking cookie for being good people. You can make bad choices and still be a good person. Okay. I know that it can't be easy to almost be forced to understand. <clears throat> okay. So, there's a saying where if logic and reason are not on a person's side, they turn to the profane. And this is, he, the guy goes on and on and on cursing and ranting about white people not accepting white privilege and even kind of hinting towards violence a little and things. I don't know who this guy is, but he's got million, I think somewhere around 2 million subscribers. I don't see how, I don't see the relevance, but you know, that's, that's just me. He seems like a thuggish kind of guy. Uh, uh, the thing that really kind of noted to me was you have to accept your white privilege, and if not, then you're a bad person. There, there's no such thing as white privilege. It's not about race. It's about culture. Culture. I've Some of the best professors I've had in university have been black. They dress nice. They're very well-spoken. I think highly of them. If they were to come into a job interview versus white, Asian, Hispanic, whatever, there was a there's a good opportunity that they would be first in line to get hired at that job because they were raised appropriately. I'm not saying this guy Trey here isn't hasn't been raised properly because I mean for the way he's dressed and, and even for his profanity, he seems very well-spoken and very angry. I'd like to have a discussion with him to kind of figure out his thoughts and let's have an honest debate on this. And let's not say you're wrong and you're not right because you're white. That is reverse racism and it's not right. And, and this stuff, kind of stuff floods social media. And, and it's just not right. Uh, but then again, I mean, this is a uh, this is a hot button issue that has it has a lot of deep underlying social issues in there. And I'm willing to discuss these issues and have an honest discussion with anyone, whether they be friends on Facebook, or friends on social media, people on my channel. But yeah. Anyway, thanks guys.